Hello, Music Bear here. This is just uh, one of these, my tiny tip collection. And this time we're going to focus the loop markers. And it's a very simple trick, but it's a trick, so I just think I'll share it. Um, if we was to play this section, the loop markers is placed correctly, right? I'm gonna, l if, if I push play now, I would hear uh, bar 11 over and over again. But what if I, in this situation, wanted to hear bar 12 in the loop? Well, then I had to move the loop markers, of course. And to loop, uh, move the loop markers, I'll just point to the position where where, where the uh, last loop marker, the, s the end marker, should be. And it's always right mouse that we press, so if I just press right mouse, I'll get it to the position, and it look like that. And then, of course, I have to address this guy and say, you have to go to the, the start position of it. and to do that, this guy is moved by holding shift and pressing uh, the right mouse again. So here we go. Now I loop the twelfth um, um, bar. I'll just move them back again. But it actually is possible to do with only one click. And um, I'll show you what uh, I do, and then we can talk about how it's done. Um, this guy here will now magically jump to this position and that one will switch. One click. Done. Uh, let's look how it's done. First we'll move them back into position. We can also do that magically. Um, <laughs> see, this guy here, I actually want him to be at this position, right? And this guy, I want to be in that position, so I can loop bar 12. But if I address this as the correct, uh, as, as the correct loop marker to move, then this one will follow. So all I do is I point to the position where I actually want this guy but I address this as if it was uh, correct. So I point to this position, but this time I hold shift and press right mouse. And both changes. The other way around, of course, is that I want this guy to go here. But it's actually this one that I'm talking to, right? So to get that one to go there, I only press the right mouse and the both shift. So shifting both loop markers with one press instead of moving them individually, say I'll move this one and I will move that one uh, with two presses, uh, you can do it with one. Um, very, uh, very, very tiny uh, um, efficiency uh, improvement but it's there so I just felt I would share it so now you know how to move both loop markers with just one press that's all for today and um, have a nice day bye bye